गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन अबाउट हाफ रेंज साइंस सीरीज नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट हाफ रेंज को साइंस सीरीज नाउ सी एर इन हाफ रेंज को साइंस सीरीज वैल्यू ऑफ बी एन इक्वल्स टू जीरो मीन्स अदर टू फोर ईयर कोफिशंट्स ए नॉट एंड ए एन एग्जिस्ट मीन्स वी विल नॉट फाइंड हियर वैल्यू ऑफ बी एन वैल्यू ऑफ बी एन विल बी जीरो नाउ वी विल डिफाइन दिस हाफ रेंज को साइंस सीरीज in this way the half range fourier cosine series expansion of f of x in the interval 0 to c is given by f of x is equals to a not by 2 plus summation n running from 1 to infinity an cos of n by x upon c where a not is equals to 2 upon c integration 0 to c f of x dx and an is equals to 2 upon c integration 0 to c f of x cos of n by x upon c dx okay means here we will calculate two fourier coefficients a not and an here value of bn will be 0 means bn is 0 in half range cosine series now we will see one question uh, example is obtain half range cosine series of f of x is equals to x in the interval 0 to 2 Uh, and hence prove that pi raised to 4 upon 96 is equals to 1 upon 1 raised to 4 plus 1 upon 3 raised to 4 plus 1 upon 5 raised to 4 plus so on now see here here 0 to c interval is 0 to 2 therefore value of c is 2 now half range cosine series is given by f of x is equals to a not by 2 plus summation n running from 1 to infinity a n cos of n by x upon c where a not is equals to 2 upon c integration 0 to c f of x dx means this equals to now substitute the value of c and f of x therefore it becomes 0 to 2 x dx integration of x is x square by 2 limit from 0 to 2 after substituting lower limit and upper limit value uh, is 2 okay now we will uh, find the value of an an is nothing but 2 upon c integration 0 to c f of x cos of n by x upon c dx therefore this equals to substitute the value of c and f of x therefore it become 2 upon 2 0 to 2 x into cos of n by x upon 2 dx this 2 to get cancel therefore this equals to Again, here we will use a generalized by part rule. Therefore, it become x into sine of n pi x upon two divided by n pi by two means coefficient of x will be here minus one into minus cos of n pi x upon two divided by n square pi square upon four limit from zero to two. After substituting lower limit and upper limit and simplifying, then you will get a n is equals to four upon Pi square n square minus one raised to n minus one. <coughs> Now this equation one becomes x is equals to one plus four upon pi square summation n equals to one to infinity minus one raised to n minus one upon n square into cos of n pi x upon two. This uh, this equation is obtained when we substitute value of a naught and a n in your our equation one. okay now using parcel identity again uh, we will proceed this example because we have to prove uh, that equation which is asked in your question using parcels identity parcel identity is in this way minus c to integration minus c to c f of x square dx is equals to c into bracket a not square by 2 plus summation n running from 1 to infinity a n square plus b n square bracket complete total bracket complete here now we will uh, substitute the value of c here now this interval uh, will become minus 2 to 2 f of x is x here therefore it become x square dx x square is even function therefore this interval minus 2 to 2 becomes 2 times 0 to 2 x square dx is equals to substituting the value of c a not an and bn it becomes 2 into bracket 2 square by 2 plus summation n running from 1 to infinity 4 upon n square pi square in bracket minus 1 raised to n minus 1 total bracket complete square total square bracket complete here now integration of x square is x cube by 3 limit 0 to 2 this equals to 
after uh, multiplying these two inside the bracket it become 2 plus uh, 16 upon pi square summation n running from 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to n minus 1 total bracket square divided by n raised to 4 this 16 and pi raised to 4 is constant term therefore we have taken these two terms outside the summation sign now after simplification it become 2 upon 3 into pi raised to 4 upon 16 equals to summation n running from 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to n minus 1 total bracket square divided by n raised to 4 therefore we will obtain here pi raised to 4 upon 24 equals to now in this summation n running from 1 to infinity therefore we will substitute n equals to 1 2 3 4 and so on in the place of n therefore at first for n equals to 1 it become minus 1 raised to 1 minus 1 bracket square upon 1 raised to 4 plus minus 1 raised to 2 minus 1 upon 2 raised to 4 bracket square plus again n equals to 3 minus 1 cube minus 1 total bracket square divided by 3 raised to 4 again minus 1 raised to 4 minus 1 bracket square upon 4 raised to 4 now see here when your value of n is e1 then this term goes to 0 and it will exist only for n equals to odd numbers therefore after simplification you will get pi raised to 4 upon 24 equals to 4 times 1 upon 1 raised to 4 plus 1 upon 3 raised to 4 plus 1 upon 5 raised to 4 plus so on therefore finally after simplification you will get pi raised to 4 upon 96 equals 1 upon 1 raised to 4 plus 1 upon 3 raised to 4 plus 1 upon 5 raised to 4 plus so on means hence proof we have obtained here